<sighs> uh, what's happening to us? Maybe we're sick. We need to quarantine. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're just yawning. Oh. Not sick at all. Take those off. I'll explain. Let knowledge flee. Yawning is when your body opens your mouth to take in air. Oh. Like opening a window to freshen up your brain. Wait, there's a room inside our pit? <laughs> oh. When you study or think a lot, your brain gets tired. It needs more air to cool down. So it sends a yawn signal, and your mouth opens wide to let in a big breath. Yawning also brings more blood to your huh. brain when you're sleepy or tired, which helps you feel more awake. Wow! <laughs> Yawning is like a leader alarm for your body. Hmm. You might yawn when you're overworked. <sighs> Or when you didn't sleep enough, that means it's time to rest. And sometimes you yawn just because you're bored. And when you see someone else yawn, you might yawn too. So, what if we yawn but it's not bedtime yet? You can stand up, oh. drink some water, or walk around a bit to help you feel more awake. And remember, if you oh. yawn in public, hmm. cover your mouth oh. to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Oh. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. crying so much did you know why lucy mm. cries let knowledge click our eyes see Ow. things and send signal to the brain Ow. when we feel strong emotions like fear or sadness the brain reacts and tell the body how to respond it sends signal to the tear glands which make tears that flow out of your eyes Tears aren't all the same. In our eyes, there are actually three types of tears. First, there are basal tears, like little bodyguards that keep our eyes moist and clean every day. Second, reflex tears. They show up quickly when something like dust, onions, or wind bothers your eyes to wash it away. And finally, emotional tears, like Lucy's just now. They appear when we feel really sad, happy, or deeply moved. Can you guess why babies cry so much? Um, I'm not sure. Babies can talk yet, so crying is their way of communicating. Like when they're hungry, or need a diaper change. <laughs> wow! Oh? <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> Sorry, Bufo. I I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> Sounds like mm. your tummy has something to say. Oh. I'll tell you what it is. Mm. Let knowledge click. When you eat, food goes into your tummy. Ah. There are millions of tiny helpful germs inside. Ah. <laughs> they work hard to break down food, ah. especially things like beans, green veggies, or sweet potatoes. Ah. While working, the tiny <laughs> germs also make gas. It's like ah. bubbles rising when water boils in a pot. This gas slowly builds up inside your belly. 
Your body is super smart. When there's too much gas, your tummy pushes it out so it doesn't get bloated or hurt. And that's when you fart. When you try to hold it in, the gas keeps building up. Your tummy gets tight. It might hurt and sometimes it just pops out. Like a balloon pumped up too much. Wow. Actually, everyone farts. Grown-ups, kids, even cats and dogs, everyone does it. It's how the body lets out extra gas to feel better. <laughs> Farting is normal, but remember to do it politely. Like going somewhere else, saying sorry if you surprise someone. <laughs> and never laughing at a friend if they fart by accident. Just having hiccups. Don't worry. I'll explain to you. Let knowledge click. The thing that makes you hiccup is a muscle called diaphragm. It's a muscle you use to breathe in and out. When you eat or drink too fast, you swallow air. That can bother your diaphragm and make it jump suddenly. This pushes air up quickly through your throat. That's a hiccup. It can also happen when you feel big emotions like crying loudly, laughing hard, getting too excited, or feeling stressed. Well, hiccups are just a body reaction. They're not harmful, but they can be a little annoying. So, is there a way to make hiccups go away? There are some tricks you can try to stop hiccups, but no one knows which one works best. Or try drinking some water. Oh. Oh. Try breathing in and out into this bag. Oh. Oh. No. You scared me, Dr. Huh? Wu. <laughs> hey, my oh. hiccups are gone. Giving someone a little surprise can help stop hiccups too. <laughs> but don't scare people too much, okay? We got it! Mm. Oh! Mm. Oh no! Don't go anywhere! The next level! Oh. Unlock! Wow! <laughs> hmm? No! I'm just holding it a bit to finish the game! <laughs> oh! You shouldn't hold your pee! Want to know why? Let knowledge click! Mm -hmm. wow. uh. Your body has a special wow. system just Ooh. for peeing. First, there are two kidneys. They work like filters to remove waste and extra water. That's pee. The pee flows down into your bladder. The bladder mm -hmm. is like a water balloon. When it gets full, it grows bigger. Then, it sends a signal to your brain to say, time to go to the bathroom. If you listen and go, everything works just fine. But if you try to hold it, your bladder gets too full. That can make you feel uncomfortable or even cause an accident. Just like what happened to you. Your bladder muscles can also get weak. That means it's harder to pee later. Or you might not pee all the way. If you hold your pee too long, 
and too often, germs in your bladder can grow and cause an infection. If you don't fix it, the germs can hurt your kidneys too. Then I better go empty my bladder. Hold my pee again. Hmm? Uh. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.